to the first ever Pensado Awards, an award show designed for our community. And tonight we're here to honor some of the best in audio arts. Plus, we want you to get loose and have a good old time. Y'all a little too quiet for me. I'm the hip hop part. You know, we need crowd participation. Yeah! Are y'all ready to get it going? This is the Pensado Awards for us. Are y'all ready to get it going? Let's get it. Let's go. She runs the legendary Larrabee Studios. His rock mi mixes are legendary. To present best tracking engineer, please welcome Amy Burr and Joe Barisi. Yeah. How y'all doing tonight? What's up, people? Let's Nominees. Thank, let's thank Dave and Herb for tonight. The nominees for Best Tracking Engineer are... Pat Thrall, Ross Hogarth, Jay Baumgartner, Andrew Coleman, and Clint Gibbs. And the Pensado Award goes to... Let's read it. <laughs> Ross, Ross Hogarth! Hogarth. Okay, <laughs> this is really cool. Um, uh, I'm just gonna say thank you to everybody. Thank you to Dave and um, Herb for having Pensado's place. It's such a gift. It makes such a difference. I can't believe, look at the turnout tonight. It's very impressive. And uh, wow. So, Thanks for, uh, for having me, and uh, let's keep making great music and being creative, and I think that's what this is about tonight, is honoring the creativity that we have uh, in this music business that people can uh, complain about, but we love what we're doing, so <laughs> we keep doing it. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. We have a very easy job. I'm a mix engineer, and we get to sit in the studio and take eight to 10 hours to mix a record. But right now, some of the guys in the back have the hardest job ever. They're mixing a live show in front of a numerous amount of engineers. That has to be the hardest job ever. And in the live show, I always say that I'm spoiled because I get to come out and take as much time as I want. But in live shows, as the live engineers know, you don't really have that much time to correct things, right? So right now, our next presenter makes a software line that helps us in the live presentation. I want you to welcome Stephen Slate to the stage. Thank you. And the nominees for Best Live Front of House Engineer are Brett Blandon, John McBride, Robert Scoville, Dave Ratt, and Sean Sully Sullivan. And the Pensado Award goes to... John McBride. If there was ever an award show where people will actually speak in the microphone, this is it. <laughs> I get so tired of going to award shows and people are talking back here and going, well, you know, and then... I hate that sh shit. I'll be the first guy to cuss, too, okay? <laughs> I'm a lucky, lucky, lucky man. I, um, I get to mix live. I get to work in the studio. I started live. I love live. I love touring. I'm very fortunate because I have great inputs. I always say that my wife could cheat on me, but if she doesn't sing in the mic, we got a problem, all right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
in jest, guys, okay? Really. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank uh, Dave and Herb. I uh, met these two guys not that long ago, and they were undoubtedly kindred spirits. Um, I think everyone in this room has no choice but to work in audio. It's what we have to do. I grew up in Wichita, Kansas, and uh, believe me, there's no music business there, although, thank God, they had a decent club scene. I got to cut my teeth in the clubs, and I loved it, and I still love it today, and I don't care if I'm in a 50-seat club or a 50,000-seat stadium. It doesn't matter. Audio is, is what we do, and um, I really believe that the bar is being raised again. I, I feel so happy and confident about the future of audio. I think great things are on the horizon and are happening right now. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Thank you guys and uh, thank you Dave and Herb for doing this. Take care. John McBride, John McBride, John McBride, a legend in his own time. The man has 14,000 microphones. A legend from Nashville. Hello, Lisa. Welcome Hello. to the Pensado Awards here in Santa Monica. Our next presenter is known for his mixes with the Chili Peppers and U2, but his true claim to fame is his beard. Yes, and to present the Game Changer Producer of the Year and the Breakthrough Mixer Award, please welcome Andrew Sheps. Andrew, come on. Um, again, thanks to Dave and Herb. I think everybody who comes on stage has to say it, and you all have to applaud every time. It's awesome. Um, for this award, I was going to make a list of the people these people have worked with, and that list was way too long, so then I decided I'll make a list just of the people they haven't worked with, and there was nobody on that list. So, you know who these people are. The nominees for Game Changer Producer of the Year Award are Ariel Reshtaid, Alex DeKid, Mike Will made it, Dan Huff, and Avicii. And the winner is Alex the Kid. Um, I'm going to make this quick because I don't like doing speeches, but um, I just want to thank everybody that believed in me from the start. Um, all of my kid in the corner staff uh, that work with me every day, that put up with me every day. Uh, you know, I couldn't do anything without you guys. Manny Miroquin, who's sitting over there. I, mem I remember when I first came to LA and Manny, like, I was a nobody and Manny was like the biggest mixer of all time and he like took like four hours out of his life to like just talk to me. And I never forgot that, so Manny, appreciate it, man. I'm never going to say this again, so I appreciate this. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Alex the Kid, Alex the Kid, go oh, yeah. Let's do it. So the next award is uh, one of the reasons tonight is so special, because this is the only place you're going to see an award like this. This is the Breakthrough Mixer Award, powered by Indaba Music. What Indaba did was put up a track by independent artist Emily Green, and it was made available to anybody who wanted to enter in this category to take a shot at mixing it. The best of the best were then sent to Dave, and he made the final decision. So, the Breakthrough Mixer nominees are Marius Andre, Dramasonic Daniel, Arturo Placencia, Heli667, I hope I pronounced that one right, Lance Sider. And the winner of the name you haven't heard before, but we'll hear plenty of from now on, Dramasonic Daniel. Wow, I'm speechless. It's such a great honor to be here, and I came all the way up from Germany. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. I'd like to thank everyone, especially Dave, who made this event possible. And yeah, I'm speechless and I'm very honored. Thank you very much. How's everybody doing tonight? 
sweet. His Michael Jackson record just went number one all over the world, and she runs the producer engineering ring for the Grammys. Here to present the Breakthrough Songwriter of the Year Award, please welcome John Nettlesby and Maureen Droney. We're moving fast here, huh? Okay, so the nominees for the Breakthrough Songwriter of the Year Award are Joel Little for Lords Royals, Kendrick Lamar for Swimming Pools, Pharrell Williams for Happy, Daniel Reynolds for Radioactive, and Josh Keir for Goodbye Town. And the Pensado Award goes to... He got the hard part. Okay. Kendrick Lamar, swimming pool. Yeah, I'm not Kendrick. <laughs> um, you know, he has some things to take care of tonight. So, you know, on behalf of Kendrick, we want to thank everybody for for this, you know what I'm saying? This is a lot of hard work we put into this album, this record, and you know what I'm saying, Pensado and, and everybody that's in this room is, you know what I'm saying, enjoying it and, and giving us this opportunity. Thank you. Dave and Herb decided to make the first performance slot always dedicated to new talent. Please welcome a remarkable talent scout, producer, executive producer, and songwriter, Harmony Samuel. Good evening. Uh, I want to thank Dave Pensado and Herb for this amazing event. I think it's an amazing uh, way to showcase great talent that never really gets to be seen. So a round of applause for Herb and Dave and the Pensado Awards. And As you can tell by my British accent, I'm from London. Born and raised, shout out to Alex the Kid. Um, when I moved there, I was privileged to work with some of the greats in the, in the game and, uh, and I decided I wanted to bring up some new acts. And uh, I'm gonna introduce two acts to you today. I'm gonna introduce the first act. Her name is Carmen Reese, amazing singer songwriter, has written for the likes of Kelly Rowland, Beyonce Kelly, uh, Michelle and Ariana Grande, in which she's singing one of the songs from the Yours Truly album, uh, in, uh, uh, Almost Is Never Enough. So, introducing Carmen Reese. Could 
change the world overnight. There'd be no such thing as goodbye. You'll be standing right where you were, and we get the chance we deserve. Amazing, amazing harmony, harmony, amazing talent. Imagine that. Here at the Pensado Awards, we have live music. We have all kinds of fun. We're giving awards away to people who deserve them that make this music. That was an unbelievable performance. I think live music is why we're here. We're here for that. We're going to bring the rest of our co-hosts out here. Here at the Pensado Awards, a first-time event here in Santa Monica. So let's get everyone else out here. Come on, Lisa. So, you know, we have a little selfie moment with all you people in the crowd. I see five or six hundred of you out here. Let's see. This is what they do at these shows. They pull out their phone and they say, how about everyone pose for this? Can I get you in on this? Ah, oh, yes. Now we have more music, one more performance coming your way, and more to come here with the Pensado Awards. So, I know some people was like, I swear you said two X. Well, I'm going to introduce one more act to you. His name is Major. Give a round of applause for Major. Major's a very interesting artist that I've met over the years. And he brings in big band, Frank Sinatra. He brings in gospel. And then I came in and brought a little bit of what we do today. So he's going to perform his first single called Light My Fire. Give a round of applause for Major. Sometimes my days can be plain. Sometimes my eyes fill with rain. And when my heart is ruled with pain, you bring the joy right back again. When I need to, you give me three. Not just enough, more than I need. My secret treasure, my pot of gold. You never leave me out in the cold. Cold, 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 cold. Come on, Pimp, shut up. Trying to take me down You grab my hand, won't let me go A mighty, mighty sweet sensation Don't need no one but you around When I need to, you give me three Not just enough, more than I need My secret treasure, my pot of gold You never leave me 
is major and that's what we do at BOE love y'all oh yeah wow another amazing 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 y'all didn't make enough noise for me please make some noise yeah. yes. all right that's so cool actual singing actual performing live imagine that here I want to take another selfie. We weren't out here when you were doing it. I know. I know we do you, it? do you have a camera? I don't have Wait. a camera. I definitely I have mine. It's an award ceremony, so you have to do this. Us and everybody has to be in it. Let's, let's all do this. Okay. Come on with the y'all audience. Okay, so we need the whole audience right now. Pull something. out your phones. I know y'all got a phone. And let's take this selfie moment. Let's do it. Oh, wait, you guys can You can take as many selfie selfies as you want, but this is the selfie moment for the Pizzato Awards. Please, let's take these selfies. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's good, y'all. <laughs> That's a good angle. Very nice. I came out kind of hot. All right, y'all not really going to have to come out here and have to start taking selfies. Hello there, everyone. Memory. We're coming out. Bob you Martin can take here. selfies with whoever take you want right now. With everyone in the crowd. Hey, we welcome. We okay, you guys on the left, jump oh, up and down. And bomb. to the right now. <laughs> Wow, it's a game show. I missed okay, it. Okay, the closest price to $1,500 wins the megaphone. All right, so give yourself a round of applause. Well done. We appreciate you. Thank Very you so cool. much. Our next presenter has done A&R, which is artist and repertoire, engineering, and producing. Now, he's one of the baddest in the game. To present the Unique Project Studio Award, please welcome Jason Joshua. Jason! Come on, Jay. Come on. Okay, she she comes she comes with the war, bro. She comes with the war. How about for our uh, beautiful presenter? She's also family. Technology to a laptop. Wait, technology today. You can, you can make music today through a laptop, a tablet, a mobile device, a studio, whatever you like. Records are made in airplanes, bathrooms, trains, subways, coffee shops, and a million other places. The unique project with Studio are those people who have created a solution to their personal recording needs. The nominees include a clown truck, a 100-year-old cathedral, and a post office. 
the nominees are William Muir, Ed Ayuleta, David Moon, Ryan States, and Hearts Revolution. And the winner, which has conveniently parked outside, is Hearts Revolution. This is crazy. Um, thanks to Herb and Dave for this. This is super cool. For those of you that don't know, we have a ice cream truck that we tour in, that we bring around on tour with us, and we covered it in like a million Swarovski crystals. And, uh, I have a megaphone in the ice cream truck that's covered in Swarovski crystals that's way heavier, so I have a thing for megaphones. They know me. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, when we take it on tour, we can't really leave it that much. So when we work on music, we just set up all our gear uh, in the truck and work on it in there. But, um, yeah, thank you so much for, uh, for uh, helping us out with this. Yeah, and Dave and Herb, there's a lot of dicks in the music industry, so thanks for being really nice to us. I don't know where you are. Like, awful. Like, we've been... Wow! We've been navigating the dark underbelly of the music industry for the better part of six years, and we've met a lot of people. And the, the more powerful that people are, the, it seems like the bigger their egos get. But these guys are like two of the coolest, most down-to-earth people that we've met. And, and especially in L.A., coming from New York, we hit them up, and they've welcomed us to the family. I think so, at least so. Thanks for having us, guys. Bye. Hearts Revolution, cool. The DJ has become a critical fixture in today's global music scene. From million dollar residencies in hotels, hmm, to their influence in both the studio and the live arena. To present the Spin Doctor or DJ Award, here are two Las Vegas fixtures. He is a godfather of EDM and she runs the studio at the Palms. Please welcome Luca Pertolisi and my girl Zoe Thrall. I agree with Andrew Sheps. We have to give another shout out to Dave and Herb for putting this together. Uh, the nominees for Spin Doctor DJ are DJ Ali, DJ Snake, Mac J, Steve Angelo, and TJR. Applause for the EDM. We have two winners in this category. The first has been a race car driver, lived in China, DJs at the largest festivals in the world, mixed for the best and produced for Tiesto, Avicii, and Porter Robinson, and he's only 23 years old. The first winner of the Spin Doctor Pensado Award is... Here you say it. Meg J. Jay is not here tonight, he's on tour somewhere, I think in Canada, so I'm gonna set the award in his behalf. And um, it's actually a pleasure because I master his record, so there's also a little piece of me. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, the second winner of the Pensada Awards is part of the hottest act in the country. He's engineer in the studio, mixed tour, spinning live. The second Pensada Awards for the best spinning doctor goes to do, 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 do. DJ, DJ Ali. Ali. Uh, thank you. Um, it's crazy, back when Kendrick got started, you know, I was just an engineer and, and he needed a DJ and I was like, you know, if I know the sound, might as well go out there and try it, you know, shake a little ass. And uh, 
it's crazy because it really just shows me, you know what I'm saying, if, if, if you put a lot of passion and hard work into something that you love and something you love doing, then you can really make it somewhere in doing that. And this is at least proof to myself that, you know what I'm saying, anybody and everybody could do anything they want to do. And thank you guys, you know what I'm saying, like I said, it's a pleasure to be in this room full of greatness. Thank Dave and Herb for everything they've done and for giving me this opportunity, and thank you. Hey, turn down for what? That's what I'm talking about. Ben Saad, oh, we don't turn down for nothing, do we, Goo? At all, at, at all. all. Please give it up for Ali. Ali, come on, spin doctor, spin doctor. I, I, I know they got to say a whole bunch of stuff, but I swear to God, I never thought I would be in the presence of Mr. Chris. Oh, come on, Lord Algy. Thank you so much on, for being an inspiration up. to me right. over the years. Come on, this we're here for amazing. Dave and Herb. Thank you, Goo. We're here for Dave and Herb Pensado Awards. Yes, absolutely. Okay, the mastering process is the last stop before commerce. The decision on who masters your record is both personal and critical. To present the Pensado Award in an earlier Pensado Award winner and his fellow presenter is a winner in everyone's book. He is Ross Hogarth and Chubba Pectorant. Give it up. Come on, Chubba, Ross! That's what I'm saying. It's my brother, Chubba. Come on, give it up for Chubba. Here we go. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, right here. Hello, guys. The nominees for Master of Mastering are Brad Blackwood, Dave Kutch, Gavin Lurson, John Dent, and Emily Lazar. So I'm actually very honored to give this award to the, uh, the people that uh, make us pretty, <laughs> put the makeup on us. And uh, the award goes to... <laughs> I'm very pleased to give this to Brad Blackwood. Your love is like an avalanche pouring through my soul. It covers every single thing that I have once known. Now all the wow. Uh, thank you all very much. Uh, thanks to, of course, Dave and, and Herb for, uh, for these awards and for all the educational stuff they do, um, for encouraging people, um, all of us, to work harder and to learn more all the time. Um, really thanks to everybody that's here because all you guys are the people that send people like me work. And uh, without you, uh, I wouldn't even have a job, much less be up here accepting this cool award. So um, thanks, everyone. All right, Brad, Brad, all right. I just met Brad for the first time tonight. You know, usually I don't meet the mastering guys, but they're the ones to take what I've done and take it to the next level because my level wasn't high enough. That's why they're mastering it. Great music is being made around the world. That often we don't get to experience. We wanted to recognize the work that's being done. Here to present the best non-English song, I don't speak English, so it's easy, award is Grammy-winning mastering engineer Gavin Lurson. Gonna have him come up. He's probably putting the final fade on a perfect song. I see him over here. Gavin Lurson. You know, mastering, it's an unbelievable art because what I do is just... Uh, put two pounds of bologna in a one pound bag, you know, and what they do is actually make that one pound bag Golden platinum and perfect Gavin Lurson good to see you man. Always a pleasure All right, The nominees for the best non-english song are Big Lang, Lico, Ron Henley with Paul Chavez from the Philippines Mendeita, La Santa Cecilia from Mexico Kian Manda, Marla Rodriguez from Spain. Uh, I hope my pronunciation is correct for French here. Tout Est Perel, Zaha from France. Uh, Suspended Memories, Jeff Kung from China. And the winner is... Suspense. Suspended Memories, Jeff Kung, China. Hello everybody at Pensado's Place. I am Jeff Kung, Kong Lin Chi. Uh, what's going on, Dave? What's going on, Herb? i a big fan of the show. Uh, I'd love to thank you guys for this very, very uh, big award to me. Uh, I've learned so much from Pensado's Place, from your videos, and from all of your guests. I feel uh, I owe you guys one. 
Um, I'd like to thank my uh, producers, uh, Zhu Jingran and Li Mai Ke. I'd like to thank Derek Nakamoto for working so hard on this project. He's my arranger in LA. Uh, I'd like to thank Craig Burbage for such a, a, a heartfelt mixing job, if you could say. Um, and I'd love to thank everyone at Pensado's Place. I'm a big fan, and I hope to get back to LA and uh, make some more hits with you guys. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Are we having fun tonight? <laughs> We're definitely having fun definitely tonight. Definitely having fun. And I, I'm so honored to actually be standing next to this man right here because... Oh, come on, come on. Seriously, I've been listening to so many records that he's ever put his fingers on and mixed away. So everybody give it up for Young Guru. I appreciate it. And I'm sure you can understand that, you know, we as engineers, we're only as good as the tools that we have to work with. Absolutely. The creative process has to be nourished by companies who care and constantly innovate. We're here to present the Outstanding Brand Award. Uh, is a superstar behind Bruno Mars, Imagine Dragon, John Mayer, Alicia Keys, and so many others. A guy whose plug-in package I haven't purchased yet, so I expect a hookup at the end of this award. <laughs> Mr. Manny Marikin, yes, please Manny. bring him to the stage. Absolutely. All right. Okay. So, the nominees for outstanding brands are Universal Audio, Vintage King, Beats, Slate Media Technology, and Isotope. So, we have two winners. The first Masato Award goes to. Mamma Mia. <laughs> Vintage King Audio. Uh, well, this is amazing. I mean, we're, we're just a we're, a, we're a large group of people, so not one person can accept this. It's a family, it's a team. So, uh, you know, this is Jeff Ehrenberg here and Alex Sawana. And I'm going to let them say a couple things. Chris Karn. Um, oh, one thing I did want to say is thank you to Dave and Herb. And then also thank you to all the artists and producers and engineers. Without you, we, we wouldn't be anything. And uh, I, I personally want to say thank you for letting us be a part of the music that you make. I just want to say that um, I think the reason that we're all here, and uh, like John McBride said, we, people in audio can't help but do anything but audio. And that's because we are in the self-expression business. Whether you're a mastering engineer, recording engineer, artist, or people like Vintage King who are also musicians and recording engineers, and in the business of supporting people who are in the self-expression business. So thank you, it's an honor to be up here. I just want to thank uh, Dave and Herb for really, the, as far as the craft of making records goes, I think it's the best thing that's happened since George Martin and the Beatles. So thanks, you guys. That's good. Let's go this way. And the second winner is... Well, thank you, everyone. Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful evening, and sorry I couldn't be there tonight. Uh, thank you for this honor. I want to thank all the great people at Pensado's Place. I want to thank Dave and Herb uh, for this wonderful recognition. It means a lot to us. Thank you very much. Now we have some more live music. This contemporary Christian star has opened for the Pope. And the other is a bona fide gospel superstar. Here to perform for your pleasure, please welcome Matt Marr and Israel Houghton. All right, hi everybody. Thanks to Herb and Dave and, and God. Here we go. One, two, three. What if it 
it all depended on me to change the world, to change the world. What if my only responsibility was to change the world, change the world? Let me be the one. Can we take pictures with you guys? Safely. Can we come out we there and take... We want you. Is this too many selfie, selfie moments? Let's take another selfie moment. Because I know it. what's happening. They're getting bored out here. I'm going to just you know, look for uh, pizza myself. Letterman selfie likes time. it cold and uh, Pensado likes it hot. I'm going to take my pictures. Hello. Come on, young. Over on this side. There's not enough people taking out your camera. Oh, we need another selfie here. moment. Take out your cameras and let's get another selfie moment. I'm going to walk back here. This is the Pensado Awards, please. I think that was a fantastic with these guys right here. Oh, Come on. Okay, yeah. I'm okay. taking a picture right here. Nice tuxedo. Hot stuff. I have in a t-shirt. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Let me go back a little okay, further. Okay, take yourself. Oh, these guys right here. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. 
the bundle. <laughs> okay, I'm you the are software not guy. Just because you're I don't mix man. anymore. It's all software. Yes, it's Too all in the box. Just push a button and buy it. I'm getting all of you on camera. Good, yeah, good. We'll get them awesome. all on Thank camera. You. Now, uh, Dave Letterman here. likes the cold in his studio. Here we go. Make like some it noise out. one time for the Pensado Awards, please. Let's. Pensado, that's what we're here for. Give me a P, give me an E, give me an N, give me an S, and an A, yes, and a D, and an O. All audio fields are connected or interconnected through technology and platform. To present achievement in film, TV, and gaming is Prince's former keyboard player who just won an Emmy for his live concerts on Let's Make a Deal. Also presenting this hit producer single with John Legend, just went five times platinum around the world. Whoa, that's tough these days. And to present the award for the Outstanding Achievement in Film, Television, and Gaming, here is Kat Gray and Dave Tozer. Come on, come on. Nominees for Outstanding Achievement in Sound for Film, Television, and Gaming are Leon Pendarvis in Saturday Night Live, Alan Meyerson for Call of Duty and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Robert Duncan for Castle, Will Files for Star Trek Into Darkness, and Nick Wiswell for Forza 5. And the winner is... Alan Meyerson, Spider-Man 2, Call of Duty. Hi, Alan Meyerson. Alan here. couldn't join us tonight, so he so sent us a video. Let's watch. I really appreciate it. Thank you to Dave. Thank you to Herb and to all you wonderful people that make this thing happen. I wish I could be there, but I'm on a schedule that isn't letting me out of my chair for the next five days. So I just want you all to have a great time. And thank you so much for this award. And hopefully I'll see you there next year. The winner for Achievement in TV is... Leon Pendarvis in Saturday Night Live. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Dave and Herb who have just been so gracious with their hospitality since I've been out here. Uh, the other thing is, um, <clears throat> though this award is given to me, it really represents a collective army. Uh, of a uh, small army, but a collective army of just marvelously tra talented musicians and engineers back, uh, back east. And I just want to give them a shout out. Uh, Lenny, Lenny Pickett uh, from, uh, yes, that Lenny Pickett from Tower Power, uh, who's one of the music directors, Eli Brueggemann, uh, Jay Vicari, uh, Josiah Gluck, Stacy Foster, it takes a collective army for us to do what we do, and um, we're very humbled to receive this. Thank you very much. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very exciting moment here. To present the Pensado Awards most talked about category, the Air Award, country superstar and legend Martina McBride. <laughs> Thank you so much, I'm so happy to be here. It's really an awesome show, is it not, so far? So great. Okay, so the assistants, interns, and runners are a critical part of a studio, I know this. They interact with clients, they represent your business, and many go on to become superstars. The nominees for the Air Awards are Corey Aaron, Silent Sound Studios, Danilo Brito, Estudio Beretta, Ghosts Web, Soundcap Audio, Lizard, Kid in a Corner, and Kevin Lulu, Studio at the Palm. And the winner is... Ghost Web, Soundcap Audio. Um, I didn't feel like I deserved this, and I guess that's kind of why it happened. I just, uh, 
You know, I just want to shout out my buddy Pete over there. He owns a studio. I knocked on his door for two months and begged him for a job and told him if he ever gave me a job, I would be coming for these other guys like Jason, Joshua, and all them's their job in the future. And so I just, this is actually for everyone who disbelieved in me more than anything and um, for Dave and Herb. So fuck you guys. <laughs> To present the OMG Mix of the Year Award, here is the Chief Content Officer of Virgin Records and the Chief Content Officer of everything else, especially his wardrobe. Please welcome Ron Fair and Jack Joseph Puig. So I wanna, before I refer to the, um, to the script for the evening, I wanna do a little housekeeping here and speak to, uh, you know, we heard John McBride speak about it a little bit earlier, which is the, um, the calling that we all share in record making and our pursuit of recording music and making hits and how we're all interwoven. So many of us have worked together. So many of us have made tremendous sacrifices and suffered many disappointments, which are the things that come with this career in music. Uh, so many times we had our hopes high that we, the music we were making was going to be received by the public and become a hit, and so many times we were let down, and then those few fleeting moments of beauty and grace, which is what tonight is. And I want to speak to my friend Dave Pensato, who uh, my relationship with him predates Pensato's place, and my relationship with Jack Joseph predates that. We all came, to get, came up together. There was a, a studio in the Valley called Enterprise, and Dave's show, what he has today that Herb and him have, have curated so beautifully, that show used to exist in Enterprise Studios and his mixing room, where he would hold a salon, and Missy Elliott would be in one room, D Damon Elliott would be in another room, uh, Kanye West would be floating through the halls, I would be in there, we would all be making our records, and in those same hallways we made hits for... Christina Aguilera and Mary J. Blige and the Pussycat Dolls and Polo Don and seven number ones for Keisha Cole and, and triumphant records like Be Without You by Mary J. Blige, which went on to win multiple Grammys. All records that Dave Pensato mixed. This is a gigantic accomplishment for Dave. <laughs> Jack, do you want to speak about Dave at all? Well, I mean, I just think that you've really covered it really well. I mean, Dave... The beauty about this is, this is a, obviously the first time it's ever transpired, and this is a very unusual situation. Um, but Dave's afforded us now to come together as a community in a way that, that has never, ever happened, or ever, ever happened before, and probably will never happen again. And the beauty is that all of you tonight that do receive award, and the ones that don't receive award, there is really no such thing of the best. You know, you're just one of the best. And all of us here, have the opportunity to be one of the best and are one of the best. And uh, follow your dream. There was a time not long ago that Dave was in a hospital, on a hospital bed, and we didn't even know which way his life was gonna go. And this, he created this platform with Herb to teach and give back and inspire. And how else would we know, like, you know, how, whether, you know, 5 dB at 50K is the right solution for the kick drum sound? So the mix that. Uh, <laughs> The mix that stands out above other mixes takes a lot of elements. Uh, special song, right? Special artist, and a supreme special mix engineer. So, you know, in my 37 year career as a record maker, the, the devil is in the details. The mixing with all of its m minuscule nuances, every, as you know, layers of sound, when you turn one thing up, something else becomes less. The, the three-dimensionality and all the nuances of the mix that is so hard to create. It's a, it, 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 most of our customers can't tell the difference, but we know the difference, and that's why we pursue it. It's a big, big deal. Okay, so. Go with nominees. Okay, so uh, let, let's share this, Jack. So the nominees for the Oh My God Mix of the Year are, this is a great list. This is like, this is like Clash of the Titans. Tony Maserati. <laughs> Noah Forty Shabib. Justin Niebank. Manny Maraquin. And Leslie Braithwaite.
right, let's see what we got here. We got the first winner is Tony Maserati. Hey, Ron. Hey, Jack. Hey, everybody. I'm thrilled to receive the Pensado Mix of the Year Award. It's an honor to be in the company of these amazing nominees. I'd like to thank my team for everything they've done to keep me going every day. I'd like to thank Dave and Herb for all they've done for our community, for the professionals and music makers in our business. I wish I could be there. I'm back east with family. Um, I'm excited to light up a Cuban tonight and get a, a glass of scotch going. And I hope you all have a great celebration, an amazing party, and I'll see you soon. So let me brag a little bit about Tony. We did the Black Eyed Peas together and Fergie's record, 17 million albums, mixed by, all mixed by Tony Maserati. Congratulations, Tony. Big deal. Yeah. In, the, in those days, we used to sell records. All right, the second winner of the Pensado Award for the OMG Mix is... Drum roll. Go ahead. Manny Marquez. Wow, the little Latino up here, all right. <laughs> Uh, mi gente Latina, ¿dónde están? Yeah, okay, just making sure. So, uh, I'd like to thank Dave and Herb. I met Dave when I was 17 years old. And uh, he is the same as he is today, back then. A teacher, a mentor, and he cared about everybody he came across with. So, please, I want to thank him. And he is one of the main reasons why we're all here along with her. Um, second, I, you're only as good as your client, they say. So I'd like to thank all my clients for hiring me to mix their babies. Uh, Alex said, if I don't thank him, I'm going to be in trouble. So Alex the kid, thank you. <laughs> and um, thank you all for the support. This is great. We finally uh, have a community here, and it feels good. So thank you. Manny, Manny, Tony, Ron, Fair, JJP. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I didn't get nominated. Damn it. I must not be, oh year. my God, Lisa. You are so, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, those guys are awesome. Manny, Tony, Ron, Fair. I love the words because it's all about Dave tonight, isn't it, Lisa? All about Dave Pensato and yes. Herb. Yes. Come on. The Letterman of Late Night Audio, Dave Pensado. Anyway, to present the Pensado Giant Award, an ode to an industry icon, not me, but someone way better. It's always next year. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Nico Bolas and Neil Young. Come on down, come on down, Nico and Neil. All right. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Neil, welcome. I know you don't give a shit about me. It's Neil. <laughs> we get to give an award to Al. So, Al, you got to turn your good ear towards the stage. Where is he? Where's Al? You're getting an award for a giant. You're the shortest engineer I know. I don't understand. Okay, they're gonna do a bunch of pictures and we're supposed to talk. So you, you talk. did it, okay, you did it. You got that joke in. <laughs> okay, so it's a great pleasure to be here tonight uh, with all you record makers and music lovers. Uh, it, it's very important that we keep it uh, in the family here. And, and it is a great feeling. And it's a great honor to be here to uh, 
give the, uh, present the Giant Award to Al Schmidt, truly one of the giants. And, uh, yeah, from Duke Ellington to Frank Sinatra in his seventh decade of great record making, uh, it, it, he is a giant in the industry. Everybody who has had a chance to work with Al knows what it's like to make a great sounding record. And uh, he loves what he does, and I think uh, everybody here uh, loves what they do, and, and it's just a great thing to be able to honor Al here. So thank you. Hey, Al, come on. I, I think we got something for you here. I don't, I don't see it. I don't know where it is. Oh, there's a picture of Al. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dave and Herb also. Uh, this is an amazing event, and, and uh, it is so great that we get to honor uh, some of the other engineers who, who don't get a chance to get their name out in public too much. And, and now some of these guys won an award Somebody says, oh, that guy, let's use him on the next record. And maybe they get some work. Um, they also, which is good, we all could use some work. Um, the other thing is that, uh, you know how educational it is. It's just, I watch the shows and learn something every time I watch a show. I learn sometimes what not to do, uh, but, <laughs> but, but sometimes, uh, yeah, I learn some really good things. Uh, I'm blown away by this. This is uh, just fabulous. Uh, uh, I don't know what else to say, but thank you, everybody, everybody that uh, voted for me. Uh, and just remember, be kind to all living things. Thank you. Al, Paul here, but you know that. Hey, listen, congratulations, man, on getting this great award from Pensado's place. Pensado, thinking, mm hmm good. You are the man who thinks. You, you're the great engineer, man, you know I love you. You know I think so much of you. I think you're just one of the most skilled engineers I've ever met, and I've met a couple of good ones. But you really are fabulous, and as a person, you're great too. So you know I love you. Congratulations on this great award. And have a great evening. Say hi to all your mates there. And enjoy, baby. You're the man. That was terrific, wasn't it, everybody? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the producer of Pensado's Place, Will Thompson. I'm not much of a talker, so sorry. Uh, but uh, I'll keep it quick. Basically, when I met Dave and Herb three years ago, we were doing a little web show that could, inside of a closet, with black carpet taped on the walls. And uh, we did our first pilot of the show, which came in at a brisk, brisk two and a half hours, which was really a, a good starting point. But um, 170 episodes later, here we are, because of their chemistry and their, how giving they are and how much they care about education. And really, they care about education, but they care about every single person they meet. I know we've said it over and over again tonight, but it's the truth. And I'm standing up here in awe of what has been created by Dave Herb and all the other supporting cast members around. So because of them, because of their chemistry, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Pensado and Herb Trawick. Uh, hey man, you guys have been great. Um, I tell you what, I'm gonna get off script a little bit right here, so. Um, 
my man to the left has done 99% of the work here. I, I didn't do anything. And I want you to make him feel what we all feel, that our community is special and we needed something and someone to kind of rally around and, and pat each other on the back and Herb helped us do that. Let's hear it for Herb. Thanks. Um, what an improbable journey. Um, you know, a buddy needed an, an, an idea in 2011. And I said, I think I got one. And he, uh, we have a famous conversation we call the kitchen conversation, right, DP? Yeah. And that was Dave <laughs> essentially saying, this black dude's crazy as shit. <laughs> But I, I'm going to roll with it. And I said, uh, jump on. I got a big back. And we'll, uh, we're going to do this. And uh, what I can tell you is that it took me about 20 seconds to realize that this community, all you guys out there, all you guys at home that are going to be watching, um, have an incredible array of talent, uh, incredibly smart and complex, some bizarre reason it was a hidden secret when in fact there are no hits without your talents. There are no films without your talents. There is no television without your talents. And nobody told the story. So, fuck that. <laughs> Look, we're, we're so completely off script now that we're just gonna wing it. So let me say this too. Um, I call Dave the Black American Express card. Uh, the, True. the notion of, <laughs> well right now it's sort of platinum, but um, if you know Dave, here's what you know. Um, an unbelievable heart, um, a guy who understates his own ability as much and as many kudos as he gets, he always underplays it. Um, there are a ton of us in this room, including me, that when we were down and went to Dave, Dave didn't hesitate to pick you up and go forward. And um, to be able to take somebody who has that much goodness and say, well, I'm gonna turn you into the biggest name in the globe in audio. And he went, really? No, that's not what I did. What'd you do? I went, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot. There always has to be a little bit of like foghorn leghorn in Dave. Like there's a little. Um, but here's the other part. What people say to us, and the journey of the show has been amazing, is that part of the fundamental part of it is that there's kind of a bromance on the air. And there is. Uh, I love this guy. Um, I think he loves me periodically when I'm not in his shit or whatever, but um, we go back 25, <laughs> we go back a long way, and the reality of it is Pensado's Place is you all's gift as well, you're co-authors of it, we couldn't do it without you, uh, the sponsors that you see us talk about every day, the degree that they go to support the effort to make sure that you get free, that we can do these kinds of things. Uh, this one almost sunk us. I, I want to tell you, we, we're like, ooh, Dave, we've committed. We can't get out of it now. So, you know, 24 hours ago when I was like, Dave, we could cancel. We'll be shamed, but. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you know, uh, I mean, uh, so, we, we got good friends that came through. Uh, they did. They did. You want to do John this, Herbert? McBride. Love him. Um, let's go forward. Okay. So, uh, two things we did. When we were putting this together, Almost simultaneously, I said to Dave, there's got to be an award named after you. He said the same thing about me. So uh, let's introduce the Educator Award. I thought that uh, there's no better person to have something named after him than the Dave Pensado Educator Award. And so would you do the honors and do, read the nominees, sir? Sure. There's one name on here I, I have a little problems with, but I, I think I can pronounce it. Um, my pal, John McBride. Berkeley College of Music. 
Francisco David Pensato. Un under protest, I might add. Clive Davis Institute of Music at New York University. The Royal Academy of Music of London to add a little class. And the winner is, thanks sweetheart. <laughs> John McBride. <laughs> it's ludicrous that I'm accepting this award that Dave so obviously deserves. I'll However, get my, I'll get my chance. He will get his chance. He's been <laughs> teaching a lot of people for a lot of years and is probably one of the most important people in education, especially in audio education in the history of the world. Woo! The I have to say this, yes, it's the first year and it's the Pensado Awards and God, thank God for Herb, you can fucking cuss all you want in here, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> Hell it's yeah. To, you know, it's hard to get the point across without the F-bomb. Fuck yeah. But um, <laughs> the older I get, the more important mentoring becomes. This is a realization I had a few years ago. My hero, Al Schmidt, who I'm so glad um, was given another award tonight, one of many, many. Al, the reason I wore a tie is because of you. I promise you that's the truth. <laughs> Me too. Um, it's about to become standard policy of Blackbird Studio because of you and Nico. Um, I called Al when I decided that we needed another alternative, another school. Um, that would hopefully focus on what record making and live engineering is really all about. And I called Al Schmidt and I said, Al, I know that we haven't, we don't have a track record yet, but we're starting this school and the standards we are, are keeping are right in line with what we've done at the studio, where no matter what, it has to be the best. We have to do it the best. And would you be kind enough to say a word or two about this school? Because if Al Schmidt says it, I believe it. I don't give a shit. I believe it. <laughs> and um, Al said, John, I'll, I'll do that. And I came to L.A. and I said it should take about three minutes. You know, if you could just say, hey, if you want to learn something about audio, the Blackbird Academy might be a good a good alternative or whatever. And, and uh, I came in there and thank God the video guy had it together and an hour and 20 minutes later when we turned off the camera, I thought to myself, who needs school? If you would watch this hour and 20 minutes with Al Schmidt and do everything he says, you don't need to go to any school. Al told me about cleaning patch cables at the age of eight for his uncle's studio, the first private studio on Manhattan. He told me about being an assistant. He told me about being an engineer. He told me to write things down and to be early and to show respect for what we do, which is very important. And um, I, I love that man. So I'm all emotional right now. I, That's all right. I'm That's a okay. man. I don't cry. That's all right. Um, anyway, I want to mentor, we started this school, Kevin Becca, Mark Rubel, Karma Banstra, mm -hmm. oh, Tony Cottrell, and Kyle Welch, and all these teachers that have uh, joined with me are phenomenal people and phenomenal at what they do, and we've created a curriculum that I believe is Second to none. I, I, I truly believe this. I also um, have, uh, it's probably in the hundreds now, uh, guest speakers and mentors. Um, Ken Scott coming in for a week 
two days of tracking, two days of overdubbing, and two days of mixing um, at a cheap, cheap rate to help the school. <laughs> he he did it. John? Well, I remember that because <laughs> I thought I could never afford Ken Scott. But thank God he came through. And not to mention the artist, Martina, my wife, who, who is Martina. the most incredible person and artist and partner that anyone could ever ask for. Um, Tim McGraw and Garth Brooks and Cheryl Crow and Gavin DeGraw and all these different artists that stop by and just open up to these students. I always ask them, please don't treat them like students. Just tell them the truth. And um, guys like Dan Huff and Justin Niebank and, and um, oh my God, there's such a long list. Dave Pensato, for one, who has been to Nashville and spoken to the students for three days. And um, anyway, the amount of support I feel in this uh, endeavor that, that we have taken is incredible. People are not selfish. And a lot of them aren't dicks. Some of them are, there's no question. I love that girl, whoever that was talking about it. And the dude that said, fuck you, you know, I love that, man. I mean, I mean, we're in the music business. We've got that in us, you know? I mean, that's all there is to last it. Time, last time I was at Blackbird, there was a special class in cursing. How is that coming along? I mean, you were teaching it, right? Yeah, I'm, I've got the PhD in that, as a matter of fact. <laughs> That's not true for all you parents in the house. Uh, yeah, I wanted to, you know, Richard Dodd, who's a mastering engineer and a great engineer in his own right, said, you know, John, going to a regular audio school is kind of like reading Playboy, but going to Blackbird's like visiting the brothel. I said, God, I wish I could advertise that, because <laughs> that probably would, it would, that might get the point across. <laughs> anyway, I love Richard, but... I'm so honored to stand here, even when I don't deserve to be here. I'm still going to take this moment to say that we're all, as I said earlier, Dave, Herb, and I are all, we're all very, very kindred spirits. We care about the same things. And, you know, it's, uh, it's the most important, outside of being a dad and a husband, there is nothing I'm doing in my life that's more important than this school. I've known that since the, the first day. When these, these students came in, and I'm with two of them tonight, I'm proud to say. One, a graduate who is working here in LA. I couldn't be happier about that. And another one who's about to graduate that will be working wherever he wants, I'm sure, because he's incredible. And um, when you see that light go off in their eyes and you know that you got the point across, it's the greatest feeling in the whole wide world. It really is. Uh, my dad taught forever, so a little, bit of a, a little bit of that is in my DNA. A little bit? A lot of that's in my DNA. <laughs> and uh, I'm a very, very blessed man. I've had an incredible life. And the more I can give back, the better I feel, so I'm just another selfish prick. But many people are going to benefit from that, so that's a good thing. And I... I uh, I really, we focus a lot at, at the Blackbird Academy on etiquette, how to act, how to fit in, how to not screw things up, how to be a positive contributing member to a tour or a studio session. Those things, no one gets fired for being bad at audio. I mean, turn on the radio, right? <laughs> the, you know, I don't, I, I say that in jest. A little bit. There's a yeah. lot of quality work being done. Don't get me wrong. But you get fired because you don't fit in. So fitting in is important. The other thing I realized earlier tonight was we don't, as Ron Fair said, I think, we don't make records for the public. We make records for who's in this room right now. Right. I finally, you know, that was very obvious to me earlier. And I have talked way longer than last time, and I felt bad about last time. But anyway. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, we're a community, John made that very, very clear. And as a community, we all go through life's ups and downs. I want you guys to let you know, let John know how much you love and care oh. for him at this moment. <laughs> Absolutely. We love you, man. Well, I love you guys. Absolutely. I mean it. 
they're doing this because I lost my mom a couple of weeks ago. And um, that brought me to my knees. And um, I really love the fact that these guys have reached out and given me love and support when I needed it most. So thank you. That's a good man right there. So, um, it's a little bit of a Homer thing, but, but it's also true. The other winner of the <laughs> Dave Pensado Educator Award is this scruffy-haired, kind of rednecky guy uh, <laughs> that I have for 168 straight weeks done an episode and sat beside and could not be more honored, more proud, because reality of... When I came up with this idea for Pensado's Place, you literally are in this space, the leading global educator in the world, absolutely in the world. So, so the winner of the Dave Pensado Educator Award is uh, Dave Pensado. Now, I'm the right person to give this to but I think there might be somebody better. Could, could that person come up, please? Ladies and gentlemen, Dave's daughter, Melissa Young. No shit. I haven't seen Melissa in a while. Do I get paid extra? You do get. Okay. These it's, are real tears, it's I you. promise. <laughs> <laughs> Be illegal not to. <sighs> I don't even know how I feel right now. Before, I haven't written any of this part down, but I really want to thank Herb. I mean, he ran around on the phone with me, out of breath. You're amazing. Um, my best friend Brittany's in the back. She helped me pull this off. <laughs> Um, You're doing good, sweetie. I know, sorry. Yeah. Woo! You know I'm cutting your allowance off, right? <laughs> <laughs> My daughter lives in Denver. I don't see her very often. No. Um, gotcha. You got me. Gotcha. I know. But you know Anybody what? got any ideas on how I can retaliate with her? But I'm, I'll take that now. <laughs> I just talked to Melissa a few minutes ago. Oh, I faked it the whole time. I'm like, oh, I wish I could be there. Blah, blah, blah. You know, my mom doesn't know either. I'm Let me surprised. tell you something, guys. If you ever have a kid, grab one like this. She's, um, she's, um, as, 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 as most of you know, know me know, um, I'm a bit of a smart ass, I'm a bit of a wise ass. And she's just like the old man. I love it. She's just wonderful. But, I don't know, Dad, over the years you've told me you don't have much to accomplish or, you know, there's nothing left for you to do. You're almost getting bored. And, I mean, <laughs> you have such a track record. I mean, from Lady Marmalade to this to the new Michael Jackson releases, I mean, you've let me be a part of it. Like, these people were running into our house, you know, asking for you. <laughs> but... <laughs> I know, this is, I know to, this is hard for you. Thanks, cutie pie. Yeah. You've shown us how to fight back. You know, you've proven everyone wrong, a lot of people wrong. Well, thank you. But this award won't be your last, and we all cannot wait to see where you go next. Pensado's place is huge. You and Herb are going places, and you're taking us with you. We're coming with you. We're going to watch you every step of the way. Thank you. Thank you, cutie pie. <laughs> okay, homie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here, you want this? I, um, oh my gosh, what do you do after that? I apologize if this is going long. Um, man, what a great treat to see my kid. I'm going to see her again a little bit, too. <laughs> Probably. All right, moving forward. Whew. 
as Herb said earlier, we, um, we've, been, we've been talking a lot about various things and various uh, awards, and it dawned on me that um, Herb has a vision and a clarity of thought almost like Nostradamus that, that I've just never witnessed before. And I, I know the man extremely well. And uh, it's amazing how he can see the future. Uh, he's helped so many people, and uh, me included. He's, uh, he's always put himself last. And I'm so happy that now Herb is getting the attention and the respect and, and, and the adoration of people like you, knowing exactly how hard he works to make everybody else successful. And one of my goals for, for <laughs> Herb and I brought almost 100% unified goals to this project, but one of mine that was a little different was I wanted to see Herb get the credit, the glory, the honor, and the rewards financially that he's finally deserved and, and has done so much for so many others and so little for himself. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, that, that this endeavor we're on will help produce that. And in that spirit, we named an award after Herb. It's called the Herb Frolic Visionary Award. <laughs> so Herb, Make Take me proud away. and read some names, my friend. You got friend. it. Um, the nominees are Beats, Alex the Kid, Stephen Slate, some guy named Herb, and Salam Remy. Thank you, How about a hand for our trophy girl? Okay, this is way above our pay grade, generally. Uh, Thank you. It's sort of weird for me to open this thing since I made the decision to know who it is, but... Uh, I know it is weird. The first winner, um, if you have lunch with this guy, no matter what the discussion is intended to be, could be business, could be sports, could be women, could be anything, in about 10 seconds, he's going to talk about transients and how he can make something better and what kind of design he has. And it's the reason why he's a favorite of the industry and his passion is unbelievable. His products are unbelievable. The first winner of the Herb Trog Visionary Award is Stephen Slate. <laughs> Thank you for this amazing honor that I, I want to share with the Slate team, some of who are here. Uh, and they really are the greatest team. Uh, I know everyone says they have the greatest team, but logically that can't be possible. They can't all be great, but <laughs> the Slate team really is. I, I want to thank all the audio engineers out there who take ideas and turn them into a tangible art form that billions of people are inspired by. And, and thank you for allowing me to be a small part of that creation process. Uh, I want to thank Dave. I want to thank Herb. I want to thank my mother and my father. Uh, I love you both. I want to thank my grandmother, who's no longer here, because she moved to Boca Raton last week. Grandma, if you're watching. Uh, I, I hope the new condo is doing well. Enjoy the vacuum. You got a plug-in for that, right? Yeah. By the way, yeah, the vacuum was a Dyson. Uh, I want to thank my partner in crime, Fabrice Gabriel, who I presume at this point is probably, uh, I don't know, drinking wine or eating declares, whatever it is that French people do. <laughs> uh, and last, I, I got so many great uh, fan email when I was nominated for these awards. Uh, but there was one email that was particularly moving to me, and I hope you guys don't mind, I'm going to recite it right now, from a very passionate fan. It was just really special. Uh, Dear Stephen Slate, 
I hate your fucking face. <laughs> your plugins suck, your hardware sucks, your videos suck, your face sucks, and your voice sounds like a washed up strip club announcer. I would have voted you in the Pensado Awards, but there wasn't a category for biggest douche on the planet. <laughs> now update my plugins to AAX, you big, dumb, Jersey Shore looking loser. <laughs> and by the way, the guy who wrote this, his name was Jason, he's from Seattle. Uh, and he ends it off saying, P.S. Please, please, please do something about your fucking face. So, so thank you, Jason. Thank you, everyone who voted. Thank you, Herb, and thank you, Dave. I love being here, and I love the audio industry. Thanks very much. <laughs> the second winner, there's another. Um, we first heard some music and sort of stalked him to be on the show. Um, I won't bore you with this, but in my career, which has been one of the most interesting parts of my career, is I have been hired a number of times as a consultant to find talent. And some of it was musical talent and some of it was executive talent uh, by various labels, Interscope and Mercury, all kinds of stuff. Um, and so you recognize pretty quickly somebody who has something special. Um, first time he was on the show, uh, it, all the bells rung. I subsequently had several lunches with him, and it was interesting because he sort of talked to me like I was an act, and sort of ran us through, what are you doing, what are you not doing, what's your vision, uh -huh. what are you doing? I was like, wait, that's, I do that to people. You, you, you don't do that to me, are you kidding me? Um, let me tell you right now, if you don't know this already, and given the year he's had, you probably do, but if you don't know, uh, this next winner will be as seminal a talent for developing artists, for building businesses, for creating incredible music. Um, watch out. Um, the second winner of the Herb Trog Visionary Award is Alex the Kid. <laughs> I think Herb's got yours. Oh, really? Um, wow, this is crazy. Uh, I really want to thank um, Dave and Herb. I mean, you know, I fell in music, uh, I fell in love with music like about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, and um, I winded up kind of doing a college course for two years and also doing an audio degree for three years. But I didn't really give a shit about, you know, the, the, the marks or the results. So I, just, I was really just searching for community and for people that thought and like kind of love music as much as me. And the fact that we have that now on the internet is like just amazing. I can't, I can't, the, Dave and Herb's importance to the, to the community and the culture of music is so important. I can't even begin to um, express that. And I, and I hate speaking in public. Yeah. And these are the only two guys that could get me to do this. That's right. Just so, um, yeah, I, I, really, I really want to say thank you to you guys because this is amazing. What you guys are doing is, is just out of control and I love it. Um, yeah, and, and, and just um, also, like, just as, when, as I go further in my career, I just see how much music means to culture. Like, it's just really... Because, you know, when I first started doing music, I really just did it for myself. And... Um, you know, when, you, when you're just sitting in a room like for, for like 17, 18 hours at a time every day and just kind of, you know, you can kind of lose yourself in the music. But as I go further, I kind of see um, how much it means to people. And I never knew that before. So everything you guys are doing, you know, engineers, producers, songwriters, artists, it's just, you know, it really means something to people. And um, I'm just glad that, I've, you know, I get to share this award with everybody I work with, um, Dave and Herb and, 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 every, and just, just anybody I've worked with. I mean, it, just, it means so much to me. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. 
this is his, right? Yeah. Dave, that's sort of rude. I was just telling Alex, when he came over from England, uh, Gerald Thompson, our, our mutual fan, brought him by Larrabee, and, and he was playing me some tracks, and, and they were amazing. And how many of those tracks that you played that day became records? All of them, wasn't it? A few of them, yeah. Yeah, a few of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of them, one of those records he made on a train, on a laptop, from some Chester to another borough, Berg something, in England. <laughs> and that became the big Dr. Dre hit, right? Yeah. Amazing, amazing stuff. But this cat's got a, he's more than that. He really is a, a, the businessman of the future. And uh, I, know we, I know we don't like executives that much, except for Ron Fair. <laughs> but this cat's going to be a good one. Yeah, absolutely. Alice the Kid, everybody. Man, I was so messed up when I saw my daughter, I forgot everything I was supposed to say to Herb. So, Herb, man, on behalf of all of us, uh, this idea you came up with, Pensado's Place, is just grown and this is the result of that growth you 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 executed this and came up with the ideas for this award show and uh we're all grateful we all know your abilities and gifts because we're all s sitting here in this award show for that so my friend um your vision is what allows us to have the show your vision has al allowed us to have all of this that we're celebrating here today. And I wanna give you this award because it's, it's the Herb Trollick Visionary Award. And I personally don't know any person with a bigger vision and greater mm -hmm. vision than yours, my friend. So um, you even came up with this award. You came <laughs> up with everything. I, 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 sometimes I, I think I'm just a, a player in your dream, but uh, man, what a great dream. Couldn't Thank you, do, my friend. Couldn't do without you, brother. <laughs> Thanks, DP. Back to the show. It's the Pensado yeah. Awards. Good night. Yeah. Good night. See you at the party. Pensado's play.